Macedonia, that unforgettable name, evoking images of ancient, great civilizations, and exotic adventure, is also a warm and welcoming modern-day republic in the very heart of southeastern Europe. While easily accessible from all points abroad, and boasting all the amenities of the Western world, Macedonia remains one of Europe's last great undiscovered countries, a natural paradise of mountains, lakes, and rivers, where life moves to a different rhythm, amidst the sprawling grandeur of rich historical ruins and idyllic villages that have remained practically unchanged for centuries. Macedonia's geographical and cultural position as bridge between East and West, as the crossroads between Christian Europe and the mystical Orient, is attested to today in its inhabitants. The Macedonian people make up the greatest part of the country's population, and is a vibrant reminder of Macedonia's rich and lengthy history. Minority populations include Albanians, arriving first from mountains of Albania and Kosovo, a Turkish population established during Ottoman times, the Roma, hailing ultimately from far off India, Serbs, Bosniaks, and Croats, and Vlachs, famous tradesmen, and likely descendants of ancient Romans. Such a diverse range of peoples has coexisted for thousands of years in Macedonia, a place where hospitality always welcomes visitors, and it comes from the heart. And indeed, the country's charms have not been lost on an increasing number of Westerners today, who are now choosing it as their second home. In addition to its diversity, Macedonia's cultural richness is expressed in its archaeological legacy. Although just a little country, it holds many antique theaters, Byzantine churches, and Ottoman mosques, in addition to relics from the Stone Age and even earlier periods of human civilization. The oldest traces of human habitation in Macedonia are the cryptic, 30,000-year-old stone engravings or rock art unearthed in the Kritavo area, as well as the astronomical observatory, religious ritual site of Dotisev Cayman, dating back almost 4,000 years. The word Macedonia instantly conjures up memories of Philip II and his son Alexander the Great, legendary emperor of the 4th century BCE, who brought great expanses of the known world under Macedonian rule. In this period, and the Hellenistic and Roman ones that followed it, Macedonia reached the apogee of its influence and power. Today, many ruins remain to attest to this ancient heritage in the sites of cities such as Heraclea, Stobi, and Skupi, strewn with amphitheaters and temples, and decorated with intricate mosaics and frescoes. The missionary apostle Paul brought Christianity to Macedonia for the first time. Nine centuries later, his Byzantine successor Cyril and Methodius created a brand new alphabet, the precursor to Cyrillic, to expedite the missionary work with the Slavic-speaking Orthodox Christians of the Balkans. Macedonia's experience of Christianity has thus always been linked with literacy and education. In fact, the first Slavic university was established in the 10th century, in Placid Alred, famous during Byzantine times for its 365 churches, one for each day of the year. Today, Macedonia's Christian heritage is visible everywhere, from the myriad churches that fill up the landscape throughout the country to the enormous Millennium Cross that lights up the Skopje night sky from high atop nearby Mount Vodna. Following the decline of the Byzantium Empire, Macedonia, and the entire Balkans came under control of the Ottoman Turks. While firmly rooted in its traditions and nostalgia for the past, today's Macedonia is an undiscovered jewel in the heart of Europe, offering something for tourists of all ages, nations, interests, and desires. Now some trivia about Macedonia. The first woman in Europe to be baptized was Lydia, a Macedonian from the town of Tiatir, who in nearby Philippi was selling red textile fabric. The red color has always been prominent in the Macedonian folklore, materials, and fabric on the flags of all uprisings throughout the centuries. The first church in Europe is the Macedonian church. Fifty years after Jesus, Paul had the vision of a Macedonian man asking for help, as written in the Bible. Paul does come to Macedonia, and pays a visit to Philippi, for Stobi, and Ocrid. His symbolic trip, if looked on Macedonian map, forms a cross. Macedonia has 34 mountains, 53 lakes, with the oldest of course being Ocrid Lake, also the deepest in the Balkans. 
according to NASA, Macedonia's Kakino is fourth on the list of oldest observatories on this planet. The number one is Abu Simbel, Egypt, Stonehenge, England, Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Take a moment to connect the dots on a map. The 120 stone dolls in Kuklakat, Kritavo, who are 10 million years old. The legend behind the stone dolls, who are lined up next to one another is that they were guests at a wedding, but were turned into stone, cursed by a forsaken bride. The Macedonian capital Skopje has been continuously populated by people for over 8,000 years. The Skopje fortress, the Neolith areas of Mazari and Cher are among the oldest in Europe. The world-famous Manaki brothers of Batola won the first gold and medal for cinematography in the Romanian city of Sinea in 1905. The nuns at the Macedonian church of St. Gorgi Hapobedo Nosek and make the special archbishop clothing worn by the head of the Macedonian Orthodox Church as well as the heads of the Russian, Greek, Ukrainian, Bulgarian, Romanian, Serbian Orthodox churches including the ones in North America and Africa. Parts of Jesus's cruisy fiction cross are laid in the foundations of the monasteries of St. Bogorada Kaprisista, Kasevo, and St. Jovan Vigorsky, and St. Georgi Pobedonosek in Reykjavik, Tabar. The cave Feshnach in Mukadonsky Brod is described in the New York Times as identical to the imagined caves in the Lord of the Rings. The most famous of all Roman roads has its largest port in Macedonia, via Ignatia. The highest quality of opium is the Macedonian. Second is Pakistan's opium, who has seven motor units. Third is the Colombian, with around 3.5 motor units. The Macedonian opium has an incredible 14 motor units, doubling that of Pakistan. The Macedonian mine, Alshar, on Kos of Mountain is the only world source of thallium and a potential mine for ecological clean energy. Since 2004, the Alshar mine is a member of the Emerald Network, an organization for protection of nature's rarities. Macedonia is the only place in Europe to have rubies. How many of you have known that the city of Prelep has rubies, precious gemstones, who can be seen on world catalogs? Mother Teresa was born in Skopje, the capital of Macedonia, in 1910. The town of Ogrid and Lake Ogrid have been placed under the protection of UNESCO as an outstanding environment. The town of Krasheva is the highest in Macedonia, 1,350 meters, while Hevhalia is the lowest, at an altitude of only 45 meters. The first railway on the Balkans was the railway between Salonika and Skopje, built in the 19th century. There are over 100 radio and television stations operating in Macedonia. There are over 22 museums in Macedonia, with an annual number of more than 400,000 visitors. The Skopje Zoo is the first established in the Balkans. The Macedonian city of Ogrid is the oldest on the planet, most recently featured on the ultra-famous U.S. show Jeopardy. The Ogrid Lake itself is over 3 million years old. It has over 200 endemic species not found on any other place on the planet. Apart from its ancient theater, which is still in use today, the ancient Ogrid, called Lignitas the City of Lights, boasted the classical Agora, gymnasium civil basilicas and temples to the gods.